a tag there. Um, do the, let's look at the keyboard macros and edit that. The keyboard macros did, like, yeah. So scrolling down, look at the sh define new keyword. So what that does is um, actually scroll up a teeny little bit where you see the macro call. Yeah, do you see the dollar sign macro call name equals run, run above, name equals new keyword? Okay, yeah. so that formulation that calls a macro called new keyword and it sends it a set of values. Okay, it sends it the word, the value of, it, and it names a set of values. Word is gonna be whatever the value of dollar sign word dollar sign is. Okay. okay which is set somewhere else. From hyphen tiddler is gonna be the value of the current tiddler's field name static title. So you might be able to say, well, you know, if you're writing a comment about an author, you might wanna send the author's name. So you set bibtech author equals current field name author. Okay, bear with me, it'll make sense someday. Um, by macro, I just put a consonant in there, keyword. So, and that's, I keep track, cause I'm creating a tiddler as you'll see in a minute. Okay. And I wanna know how did I create this tiddler? Well, I was coming from a certain other tiddler, so that goes in the from tiddler field. I use the macro keyword and it was done by a particular user. That's not gonna be too relevant to you, but that's how you pass parameters on a macro call. Okay. And then scroll down and let's look at the macro named new keyword. And so that accepts a set of variables, dollar sign word, dollar sign, dollar sign from tiddler, dollar sign. So that accepts a bunch of variables. I've got two word in there. I probably only need that once. <laughs> oh. That's a mistake. Um, it opens up a button. And then really what you're after is this new thing called action set field. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna create a tiddler. And in this case, I'm calling it a tiddler dollar sign user, dollar sign on dollar sign word, dollar sign from dollar sign from tiddler dollar sign. Your tiddler is gonna be called um, whatever my current tiddler's name is, hyphen description. Okay. So you're gonna create a button that says click this and I'm gonna create a field called hyphen description. Right now we hard coded in the current tiddler's name but we're gonna make that into a variable and then we're gonna make it into a macro. But this is where we're heading. And then the next thing I do in the next action send message, the message is to um, edit a tiddler and the name of the tiddler is dollar sign user. It's the same as the name of the tiddler that we just created up above. Okay. Okay, the tricky thing is by the way that, and this is where you have, I've learned to be careful having, this took me like a day to figure it out what I was doing wrong. When I'm setting the field tiddler, I can set field name. So I set the field name from tiddler, the field name user, and the field name by macro. But if I set the field name text, it will overwrite whatever text I have in that tiddler. That's bad thing. Yeah. So you, got, so you don't wanna send text because you're gonna type text and it's gonna stay, but this way you can open it and edit it and the text will stay. So you can grab the, um, grab the define new keyword all the way down to the end of that. I'll keep going all the way down to the backslash end. In fact, you know, why don't you just bring that whole tiddler over? Yeah, okay. Um, you can search for, um, Keyword Search for keyword. Oops. Yeah, just grab the whole keyword macros over. And now it's appropriately tagged to dollar sign colon slash tag slash macro. So when your macro doesn't work, it's not tagged to that, just so you know. Um, and let's edit it. We're going to call it bib macros. It's not, don't tag it to slicing text. So remove the slicing text macro tag. And what is this? Bib tech. So give it a tag named bib tech or something or John's bib. 
because this is one of your, this is how you're going to keep track of the work you're doing. You should tag your template the same thing. Okay, well, uh, where am I doing that? Just give it a tag, bib or John's bib or whatever oh. you want to call it, bib tech. Okay, and then, yeah, so you want to tag your template to that as well because that's how you can keep track of your work other than your tiddlers, right? So when you want to export it and do it again, yeah, okay. have all the tiddlers that are tagged with that. Okay, so let's say define keyword, what do you want to call it, bib tiddler or bib tid or something? Yeah, bib tid sounds good. Yeah, not the dollar sign word, it's the name of the keyword. Instead of keyword, it's bib tid or something, oh. whatever you want to call it. And uh, one word, is that, is that the better? Yeah, word? one word. Pretty much not lower, no, no uppercase. I don't know, that's up to you, but I just find it annoying. And what it's going to need, it's going to need the name of a tiddler. So instead of dollar sign word, let's call it dollar sign tiddler. Okay. And we're not going to put any context in there. So you can get rid of the first line to the double ats. Yep, get rid of all that. And we're going to have a macro call name equals. Um, New bib tid. And we're going to pass it tiddler equals, we're going to say from tiddler equals, and what is the name of it? It's, it's um, current tiddler. Um, so current tiddler is a special variable that gets put in dot double angle brackets with a lowercase c, a capital T. So there's no, we're not transcluding it. It's just straight there. It doesn't take quotes or anything, I think. Oh, okay. Double angle brackets. Um, all right, so I got to get rid of those. Double angle brackets. Lowercase c, uppercase t, did you say, or the other way Yes, around? exactly. Current tiddler. Uh, the word current. And then capital T tiddler. Close angles. Okay, and then you can delete everything down to that um, slash. Keep no, 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 no. Up, up. Yeah. Um, keep get rid. You want the slash in there, so you're gonna have to just hit slash now. That'll do it. There you go. Okay. So get rid of the dollar. The word equals dollar sign word. And let's and all that stuff. And so, yep. So all we have is from Tiddler. Okay, from tiddler equals current tiddler, maybe that'll work. Okay, so let's go down to, we'll just leave the rest of this off in there. Let's go down to new keyword and change it to new bib tid. You can copy and paste if you want, so you don't, I think it's new bib tid, that's, yeah. And you're bringing over just dollar sign from Tiddler. So get rid of everything else. Oops. Uh, I think there's no space into that parenthesis. I'm not sure. I don't think there's a space after the name of the. Yeah. Oh, no yeah. Here. Okay. yeah. So it's just from Tiddler and then everything else goes to the uh, get rid of everything to the exclamation to the close print. On the first line. Nope, you're still on the first line. Just put a close print after, for, yeah, we need the close print after the from tiddler. Oh, right here. After the dollar sign. Yeah. And you can uh, print. Oops. Yep. Yep. Now you can hit an at return and delete the line. Yep. Okay. So for now, let's just, um, put a howdy in there and call it a day. So, oh, let's, you know what, let's check to make sure after in the, let's check to make sure we have the from tiddler. So put howdy space and then dollar sign from hyphen tiddler dollar sign. Say that again. So put the name of the variable that you, that you've received, which is dollar sign from hyphen tiddler dollar sign. That, that's I think it. it's from hyphen tiddler. It's exactly as you've got it in the line above. 
It's dollar sign from hyphen. Oh, yep, I see it. Yep, yep. You still have an extra extra hyphen, yeah. And put a break after that so it's not so crazy. Uh, oh, angle yeah. bracket, BR angle bracket, yeah. Okay, so let's go back and review. Let's see what we're doing. So on your macro, whenever it encounters the word bibtid with the tiddler name, it's going to call the bibtid macro, and it's going to do something else we don't know. And then when it calls the new bibtid macro, it's going to say howdy from something. Okay, you ready to try it? Sure. So grab the name of your tiddler, which is bibtid, because I'm really lazy. I don't like to retype. Mostly I don't like to make mistakes. Yep. And we want to do that from, from any tiddler. So create a new tiddler. Do we want to save this? Yeah, you want to save that. Yeah. Leave it open? You see, it doesn't matter. Just save it. Yeah, create a new tiddler. And in the text, um, inside of angle brackets, type bibtid. And space. Uh, let's try it with. Let's do a macro call because that's going to be a little cleaner. So instead of calling it this way, do a dollar sign macro call. Um, you can go. You can go back to bib macros and just grab it directly out of bib macros. It's right. It's the second one down there, on your recent list. Yep, and edit it and grab the macro call directly out of that. Yep. That, yep, copy that, and let's test that in a new tiddler. Oh, oh howdy, draft the new tiddler. Look at that. So save it, and we'll say, howdy, new tiddler. Well, cool. Character. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, well, exactly. Okay, you built a macro that works. Not doing anything fun yet, but that's the next step. Back to bib tid. To bib macros, sorry. And edit bib macros and down in the new bib tid. Let's scroll up a little bit. Okay, so get rid of the howdy. We've got from Tiddler, so that's all working. Get rid of that line in the break. Yep, get rid of the from Tiddler. Copy that. No, no, no. You want to define it. Yeah, copy that. You're going to, yeah. You just exit. You're going to need it in a minute. So, delete, you know, copy it to your buffer. Yep, just it. Yep, you need, and you can delete it. We're not going to, we don't want it there. Okay, so we want a button. You want to set field dollar sign tiddler equals from tiddler. No, no, no. Down that down below, you've got it already. You've got the code. Action set field all the way under the button. And just get rid of after the quotes everything to the from tiddler. Oh, okay. Everything right here. Uh, to the from tiddler, not including the from tiddler. So we're going to create a you keep the equals quote. Yep, and delete that. Okay. Keep going. We want to, not the dollar sign, yeah, right to the dollar sign. Okay, so we're going to create a tiddler, get rid of that space. Tiddler equals dollar sign from tiddler. We're going to set this field from tiddler, tell us where it's coming from, get rid of user and buy macro. We don't really need that for now. Okay, and then next, I'll get rid of that space. And the next line, action send message, message equals edit tiddler, param equals from tiddler, dollar sign from tiddler, dollar sign. Oh, getting rid of. Uh, you want to keep the equal, yeah, exactly. Oops. Oops, you lost a quote sign. And then you got rid of that from space. Uh, 
that? You want the param value to be precisely the same as the tiddler value in the previous call. It's quote dollar sign from hyphen tiddler dollar sign close quote. Okay. But you've got the from tiddler, you just got to delete that stuff. There you go. Oh. Right. Okay. So now we're going to edit that tiddler. All right. Well, let's see if it works. I guess that's fish out of water here. That's all right. You're doing fine. So say that. And on your new tiddler, let's edit the new tiddler. Okay, your macro call has a little bit of trickiness. It's got a file dollar sign name equals quote new bib tid. Got to put quotes around the name of the macro you're calling. And probably do that in two places. Um, from tiddler equals current tiddler. Okay, so save that. Why is it not working anymore? So let's go back and look. and run bib macros and let's edit bib macros what's not working in bib macros it's down in the new bib tid um set field tiddler equals from tiddler actually after the tiddler equals um let's add the word hyphen description right here yeah at, inside the quotes but after the from tiddler Right after the dollar sign. Yep, I hyphen description. Um, down in the pram too. Yep, in the next one as well. Um, no, not in that from, the, the, no, 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 no in the next action send message. Oh, down here? Yeah. Okay. After the quote. No, nope, no, it goes after the quote. Oops. Um, act, yeah, it goes after the dollar sign before the quote. Okay, and then see where there's that greater than sign down below, that strange one? Yeah, Put um, new tiddler, because that actually is what's going to go inside of your button. So in front of it or behind it? Doesn't matter because it's just, it's actually being treated as text. So you can get rid of it and call it new tiddler. Get rid of the, yeah. Okay, let's try that. I think it was actually working. I just forgot that that's what it was being called with. Let's see if it works. like it worked right because it creates a new tiddler with the name new tiddler hyphen description and you've got the field from the tiddler that from whence it came right say that again the from tiddler field tells you from whence it came what it's oh, yeah. where where you created it from so you can link back to it okay yep okay so let's go back to your bib template now Um, you might want to edit new tiddler and grab the code from there. I don't remember what that is. It's, it's in your recent list. Yeah, just copy the code of that. Okay. And you can delete this tiddler, okay, or keep it. It doesn't matter. Delete this one? Yeah, because we're done with that. Okay. Oh, you saved it. That's fine. Okay, so in the template, replace the link to Billinghurst with what we just copied. And um, hey, let's give it a shot. You should now be able to go to Billinghurst and there's a new tiddler, which we're gonna change the name, not the template, the Billinghurst link. Uh, did you click? Yeah, there you go, type something. 
This is a description of my source or whatever, right? There you go, save it. Close it. And we're looking for our keep closing until we find our Billinghurst 2002 tiddler. And click on new tiddler again. Hey, and we didn't lose our text. Okay. So what that means is that, um, let's go edit your bib macros. And it's a little tough to keep track of them. Um, don't forget to tag your bib macros to, why don't you change bib tag to bib project or something. Okay. Yeah, just change the tag bib tag to bib project or something. You have to click delete it and read. Oh, okay, yeah, just change it, all right. Yeah. And then you said something about tagging it back to the template. Is that this here? Yeah, we'll do that when we get there. Okay, so let's look at this. Um, you can delete the second macro show keyword. We don't need that. Right on down to there. To the end, to that end, yep. Delete that. You can delete the second macro call in the macro above. We don't need the show key. No, 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 keep that, keep that. In the second macro call in the previous macro. Oh, this one. Yep. Right here. yep, we can delete that macro call, the whole macro call to this close bracket. Yep, delete that. You get rid of the bracket too. And get rid of those spaces. Somehow, I don't know, those spaces sometimes make a difference. Empty lines. Oh, these lines here, okay. Yeah, they shouldn't. Okay, you can put it, you can put some blanks between the end and the define, okay. And so now, down where it says new tiddler, what would you, is it, have you seen, you want text or an image on these things? You want a little image sign? So. There's an I, search for more info. Search for more info? Yeah, search for, search for information. I think there's, just search for the word information. And then on the, on the uh, advanced search, this is the, the um, magnifying glass just to the right of the search box, yep. And, um, huh, try um, shadows. And we're looking for something that says button or image. No, try info instead of information. How about that? Info button, there you go. So how's that as, an, as a, so copy the name of that tiddler. Okay. And back into your macro. You can close everything, all this crap. You can, you can trash new tiddler description. Yep. There. And we're back where we had new tiddler. Transclude, paste your button, paste that value and transclude it. So I'll close it in double curly braces. Yes, thank you. And what that's going to do is that should make a little button. Okay, let's see if that, that should make a little button with that eye. Not, you can't see it on a macro. You have to see it. Oh, okay. So uh, if you want to, if, actually, if you want to do what, what you're doing is good, good um, practice. So grab, grab the macro call at the top of your tiddler. Grab that and copy it. Okay. 
And then on the bottom of your macro, after the backslash end, so scroll down, you can hit, hit return after the end a couple of times and paste. And so now it'll, let's see what that looks like. Now it'll at least present it for you. It doesn't affect the code there. So that's an I button, click the I button and it should create a new tiddler for you called draft of bid macro subscription, which, which is what you would expect. Yeah, yeah, because I've got something else. Yeah, because it's in it's in draft mode. So trash this. S um, save, close that, and save the macros. Um, go back to Billinghurst. And you, can, of course, can change that to whatever image you want it to be. Okay. So then in this tiddler where it says type something, am I um, entering my notes or comments on this particular article? Is that yeah. what I should be doing? Okay. Mm -hmm. And you could tag it. You could develop a set of tags. And tag the description fields. Don't tag your wiki fields, tag the description fields. Tag the description field. I mean, I'm sorry, tag the description tiddlers. Oh, um, I wouldn't be doing that here. You would be actually, but let's, um, in fact, say type something, it's like type, type my notes or comments about this source and that will, So we're almost there. We got like three more steps to do. Sure. So uh, save this, save this tiddler and let's go back to your macros. I appreciate so it. What we'd like to do is um actually we don't need anything else. We're good. Um let's edit bib template and clone it. Actually, edit it and tag it first to uh, bid project. One of the things I've discovered in this class is the trick I'm about to show you. Okay. And save it, clone it, and let's create a description template. and it's tagged appropriately, but instead of is current field bib tech entry, what field do you think we're gonna be looking for? Uh, description? Uh, no. Is, let's see, yeah, it's from, I forget. Look at your description. What would what'd we call the field? From Tiddler maybe? Yeah. Uh, look, look at your Billinghurst 2002 hyphen description. from Tiddler. Now it's conceivable that you might do lots of things following this logic. So maybe the from Tiddler isn't really the best name. Maybe it should be called source or bid tech entry or bid tech key, right? So it's actually got semantic meaning. Yeah. But we'll stick with from Tiddler for now, but as you can see, when you go to change it, it's going to be a little annoying. You're going to have to change it in all the macros and stuff. Yeah. Okay, but we'll live with from Tiddler for now. Okay, so you've got the field. Let's go back up to your template that we're editing. Um, yep, and so instead of field bid tech entry, it's field colon from Tiddler, I think it was. Yeah, and we don't want to have them. We don't want to have a macro call, so get rid of the macro call. But it might be nice to have a link 
back to the source. Okay. So open dollar sign link. Space two equals quote. And then what's the quote? What's it from? It's what's the name? Where's the name of this tiddler? It's in the field called from tiddler. So it's um, you have to transclude it. Yeah, it's bang bang. Yeah, exactly. Excl it needs to close it and it needs two exclamation points because it's from the current tiddler. Well, let's see if that works. So now on Billinghurst 2002 description, we should have a link. Okay, so we were missing a quote and a close, but we're getting there. <laughs> Slowly but surely. Yep. Yeah, welcome to debugging, right? Yeah, because I I got all excited, thought we were there. Okay, so um, close quote, close angle, on uh, the other one. Oh, yep. And what do you want your link to say? We know where you want it to go. What do you want it to say? Um, the name of the source would be fine, right? Yeah, but put the name of the source. I mean, because that's like, think about it from your reader's perspective. They'd like to know, go to the source. So just, and the source is right in front of you. It's bang, bang from Tiddler. Oh. They have to repeat it because inside those angle brackets is the text of the link. Okay. It needs to be transcluded. Yeah. And instead of, yeah, and, and then you need to um, backslash, you know, close the link. Yeah. Okay, so now that should, so we just, that shouldn't have affected the code. It should all still work. But it doesn't. Okay, so go back. It's something about not putting it in quotes. Turn, take the quotes out of around the two. No quotes. Yeah, try, try it without quotes. And I don't know, I do this every which way so try that <laughs> one of those will work there you go and so now click the info button you can go back and forth between two tiddlers isn't that exciting yeah that's pretty cool actually and this takes you directly into editing it right yeah, yeah yeah which you may or may not want you might just want to view the description but if you want to go back to the bib template and edit the template and maybe after the button so after the macro call you actually want to display um the name you want to display a link to that tiddler to your description tiddler if it exists it's not going to be the current tiddler it's going to be the current tiddler plus the field description so that's a little tricky. Um, so we want to do a list that's going to return one and only one item. Okay. So we want a list. So uh, open dollar sign list. Inside or outside here? Or? After the macro call, we're done with the macro call. That's generating that little I button. Okay. So dollar sign list space filter equals quote and we want um, inside of a bracket we want to know uh, that's an angle square sorry we want the title and then another uh, and then what is it it's um Brack, um, braces, two braces, bang, bang, title. I think it's one brace, bang, bang, title. Not brackets, braces. Curly braces. One curly brace, bang, bang, title. And close the curly brace. And the other thing we want is not only is that, um, we then want to, the word is suffix, S-U-F-F-I-X. And then in 
square brackets, hyphen description. And then close the square, close the filter with the square bracket and quote it, angle bracket, the other angle bracket. And then on the next line, let's just put the name of the current tiddler for now. So it's it's um, double angle current tiddler. So use the current tiddler macro. So we'll just get the name of the current tiddler. And then close the list. And what this does, by the way, is illustrates for you how the name of the current tiddler changes from two lines above to this line. As soon as you invoke a new list, current tiddler is something else. Okay. And then when you exit that list, current tiddler is back to where it was, I okay. think. Okay. So that should work because now in the bib template, we're going to get Billinghurst 2002, got an info button and a link to the description tiddler. Okay. Let me save this. Maybe. Uh, no, close, but no cigar. So go back to bib template and edit it. Let's make sure. So list filter title, bang, bang, title, suffix hyphen description. So take out the suffix part. Take out the whole thing, the suffix and the hyphen description, and let's see if it works with just with the title. You need to, you still need to close it with, with the bracket. Okay. So let's see if that works before we get fancy with the suffix. Okay. So it's linking back to itself. That's at least it's reporting itself. That's good. So it's in the loop. Um, go to um, design right studio, which I think you, I saw in the first tab search for suffix. And let's do the suffix operator examples. Okay. No, that's add suffix. Oh, I'm sorry. Yep, it's all right. Yeah. I was right. <laughs> so, want, you... want me to edit this? No, 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 that's not going to help us too much. Grab that red, the first red line. And go back to yours and add that to your uh, uh, template. Yep. And the line we're working on is the list filter equals bang bang title right inside that last square bracket paste. Now you've got one extra bracket so you can get rid of it and replace the Oh, it's got to see it starts with a new square bracket. That's what I missed, I think. Oh, so right. replace the dot JPEG with the hyphen description again. Okay. That might work. Nope, almost. It's getting better. Yeah. Um, go to advanced search. We'll do it the logical way. And do, um, click on filter. And let's make a filter to call the tiddler that we know exists. So it's open square bracket title. If you still had your clipboard buffer, you would have Billinghurst 2002 handy, but you don't. So it's square bracket. Billinghurst 2002. Is that right? Yeah, close it, close it, and close it again. That should read. Yep, okay, and then inside that bracket, go back a bracket, try the word. Go back to Design Right Studio. Did they actually have a second square bracket in there? Um, suffix? No, they don't. Okay, so that I didn't think they did. Okay, 
So the bracket goes around the va the variable, not the word suffix. So right. okay. yeah, so go back to yours and it's just inside the bracket S U F F I X. No, 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 no. Ins the, at the end. Oh, okay. Just like we had it before. Right here. Yeah. And then open a bracket for it and the word, just type the word description and, and close it. Yeah. Okay. We can't get that to work. Um, No, of course not. No, of course that's not going to work, right? Because it's, it's not going <sighs> to. If we list it twice, we'll be able to get it. How can we get it in the first list? They don't have anything in common, those two tiddlers, the Billinghurst or the description one. So we'll have to list it twice. So go back to your Mac. Do you know what I mean by that? Not really. <laughs> so go to your, um, yeah, we're pushing you. You're pushing the envelope here. Go to your, I think we're in. This fish is, uh, I think, almost dead. <laughs> yeah, where were we writing? I forget where we were just writing. In a um, template, I think, right? I've got this one open. We're in the bib template. We want to edit it, right? Oh, there it is. It is open. Yeah. Oh, I know what we can do. Change the word title to prefix. Right here? Yeah. So we're going to, we, we want a tiddler that begins with the title of our tiddler and ends with the word description. Okay. Change, try that in advanced search. See if that works. Did it, yeah, change the word title to prefix. got to be inside the bracket. Oh, yeah. Hey, look at that. Look at that. All right. So do you see what, how that works? Okay, so prefix, suffix. Um, okay, so it's putting as a prefix whatever's inside the next set of brackets. Yeah. And then tacking on at the end of that whatever is inside the suffix brackets. Yeah, put a hyphen in there just in case you have for some reason a weird hyphen description. And that should, yeah. So in your case, we, we substitute in the word Billinghurst 2002 for the title of the current tiddler. So whatever begins with the title and ends with the word description, that should work. Okay, cool. Did it in one line instead of two lists. Okay, so do you need me to copy this? No, no, you've got it already. I do. Yeah, it's in your template. You can close advanced search. And close bib template. Oh, edit that again. Change the word title to prefix. And save it this time. <laughs> Sorry. That's all right. Okay, so keep closing. There's a link right there to, oh, we missed it. You can trash that. I think you have to delete it. It doesn't exist, actually. So close. Just close it. And I'll close that. 
Close. You can trash new tiddler. That's fine. Okay. And um, suffix hyphen description. So that's interesting. We're still close that and open it again. There's a link to Billinghurst 2002. And so we're almost there. I'm not quite sure why it's not working. Back to bib template. Um, put a return after the current tiddler. Up here? No, down below. This one. Yeah, just so we can see it. Put a return in there. Um, so this filter equals prefix title. Suffix hyphen description. Is there a space? Be there's no there's no bracket in front of the word suffix. So get rid of that. Yeah, get rid of that bracket. There, try that. Okay, we've got the, okay, so let's edit the template. We don't need to have a link to it so much, but let's edit the template and display the text there. So edit the bib template. So now we've got it instead of current tiddler in the filter, we just want to replace that, get rid of the whole line. We want to replace it with um, inside of curly braces, the value of the text field. Value of the text. So inside of curly braces, and then bang, bang, text. Two curly braces. Oops. And if in the future you decide you want to have the tags there, you can figure out a way to throw the tags in there as well. But let's just stick with tag text for now. That's okay. good. And put a break after that, or maybe even a paragraph. So um, close the paragraph with an angle, angle slash P, close angle. Yeah, slash P. And then in front of the word text, put a P inside of angle brackets. So then it will be in its own paragraph. Yeah. So this should, the only one that's going to work now is the Billinghurst. That's our test case. Oh, look at that. Right, my notes, comments about this source. So okay. now what would happen is if you bring in, if you re in fact, go ahead and do it, hit the import button and import your bid file again. Okay. Um, is it that one, the AR underscore Google Scholar bib? Yeah, I think it is. I was messing around with this yesterday. Um, yeah, that's, it looks like that was yesterday's file. Yeah, yeah. Yep. So now you just added a whole bunch more to your thing, imagining it, right? Okay, now click on Billinghurst 2002 and look at that. Okay, so then I would, if I actually want to add my notes, I'm going to click the info button. Yep, you, you might be a little happier at the moment if you changed your, um, go to tools and change the way that the things are displayed. Go to tools, the tools button. Yep, and then scroll down and look for, it's called um, story view. Select and then and click story view and set it to zoom. Zoom in, it's the third choice. And so save your changes. Okay, and now hit home. Oh, you don't, um, so search for billing. Okay, so now um, hit the I button. And you can type 
fix your notes up here, blah, blah, whatever. Uh, just type over that? Yeah, or, what, or change it or something, or whatever. It's fine the way it is, you know. But you'd put whatever your notes are. Okay. Let me say another line. Perfect. Very thoughtful. <laughs> Save it. And now you're in one tiddler at a time mode. So if you close this tiddler with the X. Oh. Okay. So the only, yeah, so that's, so now we've got um, the other stuff that you're going to put in your bib template is stuff about that source. Right? So you might want to have the actual, so if you go back to my bibliography. Go back to my. Um, it's the, bib, the bibliographic model that you're using that you took from me. From me. You oh, right, yep. Probably needed a link for that, yeah. Ooh, we just closed yours. We didn't mean to do that. New tab. That's all right. Oh, shoot. Sure. That's all right. I can reopen mine. Yep. Let's open first. And yeah, you want yours to be open because we're going to bring a. We made did a lot of progress here. This fish is out of water and is suffering from major cognitive. Nope, overload. you're going to be fine. I can tell. Okay, so um, go back to my bibliography, and I think it's a uh, click on reference list. Oh, I have a reference list in in my project. Oh, did you? So let's let, uh, search. Click on the reference list tiddler. Sorry, instead of the tab, and edit it. And so see, you want, you don't want any, any of the links, but see where I've got bib tech title, bib tech author, bib tech URL. Just grab that part of that line. Not the link to stuff after the link. Oh, right here. Yeah. Just grab down to the P and copy that and paste that into your, into your template. Uh, the bib template. Yep. Uh, was there an IDT hangout tonight as well? No. Okay. Just realize it's five a.m. Yeah. Okay. So where am I? Um... No, no. Where do you want to? Where do you want to put? So I'd put that first, right? Yeah, right there. No, not after. You have to have the list filter first on a template. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yep, and open that with a P. Cool. And um, good, right? So it looks good. And now let's look at your one of your entries. Okay. Let's try a different one. Nice. Click the I button. Give it something. Good. And the only thing we're missing is the tags. Missing the tags? Yeah, so let's, um, because let's say that this is going to get tagged, but we'll, why don't you focus on tagging your description? So 
you know, do 10 of them, tag them, just 10, not more than 10. And then you want to figure out a way to get the tags and you have to tag the descriptions, not the entries. So this, this tiddler here is one that I would be tagging, right? Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna go edit it. And create a tag. Uh, a substantive tag. Pardon me? I like a substantive tag. What are your categories for sources? Uh, so this came from Google Scholar, so I'm call it Google Scholar tag. Well, that's uninteresting. Like a substantive, like what's meaningful? Let's see. let's go read. Let's click on it and read it for a second. Okay. Uh, all right. Let's get out of this. Yeah, a lot of these I haven't even really read. Wow. Exactly. Right. 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 There's an abstract. Oops. Hopefully, there's an abstract. Uh, I don't feel like trying to get through 88 pages right now. Uh, sure doesn't look like there's an abstract. Okay, oh, this one maybe we'll just do this. Well, I mean, all these articles have to do with augmented reality. And well, that's not going to be interesting. <laughs> um, so this is going to be, this looks like it's about hands-on. Um, so it's hands-on, hands-on solutions. Um, you know, what, what you'll, you don't know what they're going to be yet, right? So as you develop it, you might just tag it five things and then let's just go back and tag it with things that we think it might be about. It's um, real objects, virtual objects, you know, it doesn't matter, right? Yeah, this is just for tests. Yeah. So. Always tag the eye, the eye field. And if you don't like that eye button and it's too, it's not helpful for you, then change it to something. Let's give it a tag to, um, I don't know, hands-on learning. And K-12 education. And these you're going to refine, you know, perfect. Okay, so now back to your... Oh, you were saying you had about five or ten tags. Tag about five or ten items. Just let the tags come as you, and let them, over, and your, your, this is your work when you get to the tagging. Oh, I see. Okay. All right. All right. I think I this, understand. This is your value added. The only thing we have to do is we have to reference your tags back to your bib entries. Okay. And we're almost there back to, um, okay. While we're at it, um, open your control panel and in the subtitle of info tab, put the word in front of your link. Put the word um, tag, open angle brackets, tag, space, quote, I think it was bid project. I don't recall if you capitalized them. I think you did. Um, bid pro oh, the tags. Um, I, I think you did. It's, I think, I'm pretty sure you did. Yeah, I think I did. Time to do that. And capital P2. Yeah. And close it with quotes and two angle brackets. Okay, and space. Do I need a second angle bracket up here? I only have no, one. and the word is tags instead of tag. I was wrong about that. Oh, you need two angle brackets open. I'm right, it is tag. There you go, okay. So now you can close the control panel. And now all the tiddlers that you need should be on that link. Should I save it first? It doesn't matter. When you close it, it'll save. See in your subtitle now, there's a link to Bib Project. Oh yeah, okay. So whatever you need now, you should have a link to your template right there. Whatever, you, whatever files you tag to that, all about your project should be right there. So you don't have to go flipping through them. We're working on Bib Template now. And there's a link to it right there in Bib Project. There you go. 
And so far we're bringing over the text and you want to bring over the tags as well. Uh, and there's a special way to bring over tags. You might poke around and read about that, but for now let's just put it in just like where you've got bang, bang text, put bang, bang tags. Same line or a different line? Yeah, you can put a break between them. And then braces, bang, bang tags. Yeah, and um, it's not going to be pretty. It's going to be hideously ugly, but go ahead, save it. And there's a way to push that into the tag template, which I'm going to show you where the help is for that in a second. And then, so just go to one of your sources. You need a new home button. Click on, do you have a reference list? Did you bring, did you bring over the reference list? Yeah. Oh yeah, you got that. Um, so tag this to bid project so you can always find it. And then Oh, see that little teeny greater than sign in front of your reference list, augmented reality and education? All the way down on the right side, on the presented side. Teeny wow. little greater than, there you go. That's the link to your source. Oh, so go ahead and click that. Mm, yeah, you're missing a... Um, yeah, close that. Let's go back and see where your reference list is not quite right. This happens to me too. I, I open and close to the um, side button, the preview pane on the Tiddler. Um, link to bang bang bibtech hyphen title. Oh, it's not BibTech hyphen title. It's, um, I think it's, I think it's BibTech hyphen key. Try that. The greater that, yeah, you don't even have to save it. There's a link in front of the words augmented. Yeah, that should take you, no, but, um, edit that Ago, whatever the name of that source was. I don't know the name of the, so my reference list wasn't even working. Yeah, you can delete this Tiddler. Um, edit the reference list. Uh, we must have a link to the Tiddler. It's probably current Tiddler. I don't know why I was trying to be fancy. Link to current Tiddler will work. Yeah, no curly braces. Bang, uh, angles, current tiddler. Two angles. Okay. Yep, and get rid of the extra curly brace. And it looks really weird, but you're gonna have three angle brackets in a row. You only have two, you need three. You need to close the link tag after the current tiddler. Yeah, one more there. Uh, why would I need three? Well, because two for the current tiddler and one to close the link tag. Oh, okay. And now you need something else. Just put a plus sign there. You need something for the link. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Let's see if that works. There we go. So now see how your tags are coming in in a comma-separated field? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. Okay, so go back to the second tab, Tiddly Wiki from BibTech. I'm sorry, Design Rights Studio, the first tab. And search for um, template. And you want the. Um, 
Transclusion with templates, Tiddler, right there. And scroll down, there's an example. Keep going to push it through the tag template. See how that, see there, see that example? This right here? Yeah, but see the, the, the code there below? Yeah, you wanna, you wanna do that. You wanna push it through the tag template. But I'm gonna let you figure that out on your own at some point. Okay. It's not critical that you do it now. We can always, we can fix that later. Okay. In the meantime, you can now take your 10 resources, read them and add description fields and tags to them. Okay. Okay. And then so add, the, add my yeah, notes. You've got stuff well. to work on. Pardon me? You've got stuff to work on. I think James is still live out there too. He's recording. But James, if you could start, start. and stop the record, we're going to 